Uh, it's Chanel and today I am doing that nine card spread. I saw this first on um, Rose Honey Ritual so I'll link her video down below and I believe that the original sort of video for this was from Truth In Story or Truth In something like that. I'll put that video down as well, trace it back to its roots. Um, so I've already shuffled and laid out the spread so this is how the spread is laid out so you've got past present future and then you've got earth air fire water and you've got helping and not helping so this is supposed to be like a personal spread so it's sort of like my own interpretation of what i think it means um from what i've seen from everyone's videos it's a bit like <laughs> it's a bit revealing um but we'll see how it goes i might keep it like brief and not like obviously delve into the nitty gritty and all the nuances but um i've chosen as my deck today the lucid dreams beginners tarot by saint soleil and that's because it's the one it's the one that knows me best and um has the clearest messages i find i'll put um i'll write in the description to the um questions but yeah this is how it's supposed to look so we're going to start with past so let's see oh seven of pentacles okay yep yeah. Yep, hard work. Just working hard. <laughs> um, lots of planning. Yeah, okay. So in the past, I was someone that was always thinking about the future. Um, I was always planning ahead. I had a lot of fear about the future. I had a, a lot of anxiety. And I felt like by trying to control it, by trying to put the work in and guard against like failure or disaster or plan for success, um, that I could, you know safeguard myself against against uh the unknown um so yeah in the past that's all I was doing was just working for my future um I was always from a young age too um at 14 I started working in my school holidays I wanted to be financially independent um I just found that that's the only way that you can have freedom especially like from family and their expectations and sort of obligate um, what they put, you know, on you. Uh, if you're financially free, you are free. You can make your own decisions um, and you can live your own life. And obviously that meant working hard. Uh, I grew up with migrant parents who, you know, came from nothing. And to them, it was about working hard to give me a better life to allow me privileges that they didn't have. So the trade-off for that was that there was no <laughs> no presence from them. Like there was no quality time. There was no emotional, um, you know, uh, side to that. It was just they worked hard so they could send me to good schools so we could live in a better area. So, you know, all of that sort of thing. So it was just I grew up with the whole notion of, you know, you need to work hard um, to have a good life. Uh, so yeah um and I would just go 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 and eventually it did lead to burnout for me because it was not only just working hard but it's like taking care of everybody and not myself um so that's past let's look at present oh this is so like nerve-wracking <laughs> what's it going to be what's behind door number two? Oh, that's nice okay <laughs> Whew. okay present so the present is a star um which is sort of about hope it's sort of like that healing that comes from you know past trauma like sort of the darkness is behind you um it's also like a sort of a spiritual sort of tone for me like an awakening um and i as you know i love stars my name is spirit of stardust uh, stars are a very potent symbol for me um we are all stardust and it's just reminding me of my true nature um to look beyond like the 3d world here and remember who i am what i am that yeah it's it's all going to be okay it's i've got the power within me to heal i've got the power within me to change i've got the power within me to create my future um and like yeah good things are still are yet to come um that's what i feel when i see the star like it's okay it's <laughs> have hope have faith little one it's it's going to work out and then we've got future strength okay that's great okay um self-love and respect yeah it's probably something I do struggle with is um that 
sort of self-love and confidence. It's, it's something I'm having to build up again. Um, and unconditional love is not something I've ever had from anybody, but it's something that I always strive to uh, give to my children. But perhaps, you know, in the future, I'll be giving that to myself. And I will have that conviction and strength and compassion to myself as well and belief in myself that I can do whatever I want to do um, and that I'm supported by myself. So that would be lovely. My future is the strength card. It's the major arcana card as well. So that's that's fantastic. I'm happy. <laughs> that's, uh, that's comforting. Um, I hope to be in that energy. So then we've got Earth. Earth, Earth, Earth. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay. So Earth to me is sort of um, about obviously the material realm. So my body and my health, my physical world. It's that sense of safety, that sense of security. Um, and to have Ace of Cups there, it's like for me, obviously, from love and relationships is where I get that sense of security and stability um, from it's when I feel the best within myself. It's probably when my health, like, let's be real. I, the, the best that I ever feel physically and emotionally and everything else is when you first fall in love. Like that first, the beginning of the relationships, it's your floating on cloud nine. It's your, your, your best self. Everything is just falling into place. Nothing gets you down. It's like seeing the world in rose colored glasses. Um, when I am in when I have healthy, loving, close relationships around me, I, like I said, feel safe and supported and I am able to be my best self. And um, it's very important to me to have that. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> it's like also like getting in touch, I think, with myself, more with my feelings and emotions improves my physical world, my physical reality. So the more love and connection I have, the better my life is. That's how I'm viewing this one. Then we've got air, which is sort of like um, swords. It's about the mind, logic, communication. I've got the Hierophant. Ooh. Um, so for me, I'm seeing this from the positive view. For me, this is spiritual connection. This is to do with my connection to the divine. Um, I believe that the more I am connected to the divine, to my higher self, to my ancestors, the more I ask for guidance. Because it's something I also struggle with is asking for help. <laughs> That's that communication thing. Um, I do struggle with asking for help. And I've just really, just recently, literally I think two days ago, had sort of the epiphany again that Chanel, why not ask for help? Why not say, hey, Help me find a way to improve this. Give me like your wisdom. Like I need to sort of like co-create with spirit um, instead of just trying to go it alone. Like, just, you know, me just sitting there in the trenches with a, with a spade. It's like, get your team in. You have help. You just, all you have to do though is you have to ask. I think that's the thing like in the spiritual sort of community is that whole thing about they, they will help you if you ask. You just have to ask and let them in. And I have to accept help. Um, and communicate my needs and um, yeah be open to that divine guidance and uh, and help and sometimes you know and my ancestors as well so I see this too as my ancestors that have passed um, but even though they've passed I can still communicate with them I can still ask them for their their wisdom and their knowledge and their advice um, and use that to you know uh, improve my life here on the earthly realm so that's what I'm getting from this card in the air space and then we've got fire which for me is like wands it's like passion action ambition and I've got ooh, eight of swords okay so this is one too this is a message that has been given to me recently as well that the area in my life that I need to improve on it's like I got sort of like the chariot it's in taking action on my goals. I am a bit stuck in that sort of analysis paralysis where I don't, I'm not committing to a vision of the future because I don't know. Like, 
I'm uncertain. As you know, I've, I've been through a divorce that just finalised um, a few months ago. So in the past, I was all about making plans for the future. And at the moment, I haven't really, I haven't started to make new plans. I'm sort of still grieving the loss of what I did want because it's no longer a possibility. Um, and I'm sort of in this limbo and stuck in these sort of like self-limiting beliefs because now I'm doing it on my own. Um, I don't have a partner to help. It's like all of it is on me now, like to take care of my children, to create my future. I have to do it. And because of that, like I do sometimes, I don't want to say I feel like powerless, but I feel overwhelmed, I would say. Um, and I am my only obstacle. I'm aware of that um, in terms of, like I said, actioning my goals and working towards them and yeah, I need to get out of my own way and pick a new path and just just do it. As Shia LaBeouf once said very famously, just do it. Um, yeah, that's in the fire. Yeah, I need to get that. <laughs> I need to get that fire burning again. I've let the, uh, the, the you know, the flames go out and to the, to the smoking coals. I've got to put some life into it again and uh, just find my way. And then we've got water, which is sort of like cups, emotions, feelings, relationships, intuition, death. <laughs> Look, man, I don't think I've ever done reading and not gotten death, not gotten something that means transformation, metamorphosis, shedding of the old. <laughs> it's, just, it's a Scorpio in me. I think I just, it's what I'm always doing. It's what I'm good at. <laughs> it's like death. Um, yeah, I, I guess in terms of water, um, yeah, it's letting go. I have to let go of what was uh, so I can embrace the new. I need to let go of who I was and become, you know, um, who I need to be now and really just shed that cocoon and becomes a butterfly. Um, same too with in relationships. If there's relationships that no longer serve or that hold me back, I need to probably release them or make way for new relationships that sort of resonate with who I am now and really like step into who I am now instead of like trying to hold on to, you know, the old Chanel. It's like, you don't need to do that anymore. You can be someone else. You can be who you are now. You don't have to, you know, go back. Things aren't always better as they were. Sometimes you look at the past, you know, with nostalgia and like, oh, you know, look how amazing I was back then and strong and da 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 before this, this and this happened. But it's like, Look at who I am now, despite all of these struggles that I've been to, despite the hardships, despite the trauma. Uh, you know, you may have scars, but you are stronger, better, more evolved version of yourself. Um, so, yeah, also just in terms of, you know, emotions, allowing them to sort of die as in to feel them and then let them go. Don't hold on. I think that's the biggest issue that um, I have as human being is the tendency to want to hold on. Um and instead of just allowing it to be and then letting it go and allowing what comes. So that's what I'm taking from the death card in the water element. Okay, now we're going to what is helping me. Uh, okay. Uh, Ten of Pentacles. So Ten of Pentacles is like, was my dream, my life dream. I wanted to have a loving, stable, safe family. I wanted to build a legacy I wanted to create financial security and abundance within my like maid family. Um, it's what I lacked as a child. And so as an adult, that's what I wanted to create, to create my Ten of Pentacles life. Um, and that is, I guess that is always still my dream to be part of a, you know, a loving, secure family, to have a financial security, to leave a legacy, to have roots as well, um, I had 14 childhood homes, so I never, I never got, had an anchor, so to speak. And I always just wanted to be in, to put down roots and to create something lasting. Um, so maybe that it's, it's like, you can still have this dream. It's just going to look a little bit different. Obviously, I'm not going to still be with the father of my children, but that doesn't mean I, I, I can't have a family whatever that looks like. And even though I'm doing it on my own, that doesn't mean that I can't build financial security myself for my children. 
and to be the roots for them. So that's what I think that is. And then what's not helping. Okay, six of swords, six of swords. Okay. Okay, I think this is just about me accepting where I am now. <laughs> like I've just been saying this whole thing. Like I've been having ha trouble letting go of my original dream of what I wanted and accepting that that cannot happen anymore. Um, I am divorced. I am a single parent. Um, I, can't I can't afford to build my dream home right now. But yeah, I've just got to accept, accept the lessons, um, accept that that was my journey, uh, accept the growth and experience and move on um, and move forward, I guess. So I do have to leave like those older dreams behind and make new dreams. I can still have, like I said, my Ten of Pentacles just tweaked a little bit. Not quite the same. Similar, but not the same. And that's okay. Um, I can find a new way to this dream that, you know, is more of a solo journey, I guess, at this moment in time. Um, but yeah, look, it is hard. Anyone who's been divorced, especially has children with that person, it can be hard to let go. Um, there's sort of like... There is a bit of like resentment and bitterness, especially and obviously in my case, because it's, you know, I am not the reason that this worked out this way. It's just when you can't control another human being and if they don't have the same loyalties and sort of commitment as you do, um, that's just the way it is. And so, yeah, it sort of sucks in that respect. It's like, I was committed to this. Why couldn't have you been committed to this? But, you know, everyone has their own journey, their own lessons to learn um yeah and it's just I've got to leave it behind too and leave all that drama behind it's my life is a lot more peaceful now I don't have that stress and drama and trauma um it's it is just more peaceful uh just <laughs> canoeing the boat <laughs> rowing that boat on my own um I can yeah I yeah that's why I'm thinking of the six of swords in terms of what's holding me back it's just you have to just let it go, make peace with what was and make space for what is yet to be. Well, that, that was the um, the nine card spread. Uh, that's really interesting. I normally don't do such massive spreads. I can sometimes find it a bit overwhelming to look at so much, but this was very illuminating. Um, it's given me something to think about. It's given me some direction to be honest, it's real. It's comforting. Uh, that's what I find the most with using cards. Um, it's sort of like it. It tells you what you already know, but in a way that you actually listen. <laughs> There's no like doubting just myself. It's like you're on the right path. It's going to be okay. You have faith. Have hope. You have what you need. You can still, you know, um, make your dreams come true. So I hope that wherever you are, you are having an illuminating morning, afternoon or evening. And as always, stay wild, star child.